<laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Facebook Live, right? Another Felici Friday on a Friday this time. It feels like a really long time since we've done this, you guys. I think it was because it was two over two weeks ago because it was a Thursday last time. So as usual, it's a beautiful, fabulous summer Friday. How many more do we have left? Hopefully lots and lots and lots. I am not ready for summer to end. I don't know about you guys, but love summer. Hello, Philomena. Welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Um, yes, yeah, so we have, I've got like so much good stuff to show you guys today. There's, my table is full. I'm like, I'm going to pack it all in. Hope I'm probably talk like a mile a minute so I can tell you everything that I want to share with you guys today. So let's see. Um, and already I'm like, what's the first thing I want to tell you guys about? Well, we are going to play with this awesome stamp set today. The delicate dahlias. We're going back to like summertime since it is summertime, right? So this is one of those awesome, awesome stamp sets that you can can get for free during celebration. So right now with a $100 order, you get this 12 piece photopolymer stamp set. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You can make some beautiful um, flowers with it. So we've got kind of outline image and then um, fill it in. Same thing there with a the little baby flower and then with the leaves, right? And then some lovely sentiments too, like thank you kindly, oh so happy for you, you inspire me and sending heartfelt sympathy. And I love how they do like the lowercase and uppercase um, font on there too. So they're always kind of just doing something fun and unusual. So yes, this is what we're gonna play with today. We will make some really cool projects. I'm super excited to share those with you guys. So we'll do that in just a little while when we get to our stamping. Um, in the meantime, oh, ooh, oh, that fell off my table. Sorry, that was like a big poof. Um, I over-ordered. I over-ordered. Hey, Jenny. Hello. Welcome. Thank you guys for sharing, Philomena and Jenny. Already, you guys are doing the awesome. Thank you so much. I can't tell you how much I appreciate those shares. So keep it up all video long, all week long until we do our next Facebook Live, right? Really, truly appreciate your shares. So thank you for that. Um, but yeah, so what I was saying was I over-ordered on my designer series paper share. Like I didn't I didn't count my numbers quite right. So I have three extra um, packs and I don't have them here because I just ordered and I went back through my order and I'm like, what the heck was I doing? So when I get them, I'll be able to show you guys because I've given um, everything away that I have ordered and cut already. But you guys, you get, okay, let me check my notes. <clears throat> It is 18 different packs of paper in the holiday catalog. You basically get a quarter of a pack of all 18 of those packs of paper. Plus there are three packs of paper in the celebration catalog that I give you a sample of those also. It's only $54. It would cost you, I don't know, 200 and some dollars to get all of those designer series papers um, if you were gonna order them, right? So I'm gonna give you them basically just $54 to get a sample, a quarter of a pack of each pack of paper. Um, then you can basically check it out, see what you think, what do you like, which ones do you want more of, right? And then you can order more of those that you're like, oh, I just love this paper. So if you're interested, three packs of designer series paper share left, like, oops, I way over ordered, so. Oh, well, I guess that's what happens, right? If not, I'll just have to play with all that pretty paper myself, but I'd love to get it into your hands too because there's just some beautiful paper. Like I said, 18 different packs of paper, so tons and tons of great new paper for us to play with as well. So um, let's see. Oh, you know what? We are going to jump right in. I want to do my first drawing because I have so much I want to show you when we flip the camera down. Um, so yeah, we're going to kind of uh, power right through the first part of this so I can get that camera flip down and show you lots of good stuff. So our first drawing, you guys know I always love, like I said, your shares. So thank you so much for sharing. Um, the last time we did Facebook Live, I announced that we were going to give away. These are some of my favorite and they're perfect for like summertime projects, but they're also gorgeous with like Christmas and um uh, snowflakes and that sort of thing. Love these blue adhesive back gems. So they've got kind of a lighter blue and then a darker blue and then they're super faceted, like kind of multicolored. They're also, so they can kind of work with lots of different colors too. So that's what we're gonna give away today. If you shared the Facebook Live video or you signed up for my email list, your name is right here in my little Stampin' Up! bag basket. So we're shaking all the names around and we have one lucky winner. Oh yeah, also if you signed up for my email list because I had a few new email lists sign up. So your names are in here also. Okay, so let's see. 
see, got one, yes, one in my hand. I'm always like afraid I'm gonna have more than one. So Miss Debbie Green, all right, congratulations, Debbie. You are the proud new owner of the blue faceted gems. So Debbie, I will get those um, gems sent out to you. So congratulations and thank you again for the shares. All right, we gotta dump those babies out. And where are my other ones for my next drawing? I gotta get those in here while we're chatting. So. Ah, uh, very sweet, Philomena. Um, on our next Facebook Live, which I will tell you, oh, Cade is actually, so my son, Cade, is going off to college like a week from today. We have to move him in. So I can't do Facebook Live next week. We will be live the first Friday in September, which I guess is like the Friday right before Labor Day weekend. I haven't even like thought that far. All I can do is I can only think about next Friday. I can't do anything past then, apparently. So, yeah, we're moving Cade into, he's going to Hope College over in Holland. Hey, Nikki, hello, welcome. Hey, if you, I know you've gotten designer series paper shares in the past, so I have an extra one if you want one, so let me know. Um, anyway, so yeah, he's heading over to Hope College. It's over on Lake Michigan, beautiful, kind of a little bit of like a resorty feel town, I think, um, especially in the summertime. Um, so, and like the water, it's like Lake Michigan, Michigan is right there too. Uh, so it's going to be so cool for him to be there. I, I'm i trying to like keep telling myself that too, right? It's going to be so cool. Hey, Teresa, hello, welcome. Um, not sad, not sad at all that he's not going to be in Alma with me anymore. Um, that's going to be a little weird, but I'm going to be making road trips for sure. We'll be making lots of road trips over. It's like two hours away, so it's not too bad. Um, so yeah, far enough that he, um, you know, like one of those, like mom can't just pop in on him, right? Um, <laughs> I don't think I'd ever really do that. But anyway, so yeah, so that's such a huge deal that... Um, He's moving, he's going to college, my first my first child to go to college, right? So, and then Lily's a senior this year, so next fall we'll be um, possibly moving her into somewhere at school as well, too. So, yes, it is exciting, Nikki, oh my gosh. Um, yes, yours is in Ypsilanti, so that's a couple of hours away too, Jenny, so not too far. Plus, like, I love a good road trip. I love to get out of town, I love to get out of Alma, I love to go see and explore and check new places out. So we've done a little bit of that, but I'm excited over the next four years um, to be able to get uh, get down to Holland and see what it's all about down there. So, hey Kay, welcome. Thanks for hanging out with me down in North Carolina. Thank you for the share too. So speaking of shares, let's get back on track. So our next Facebook Live, which like I said, will not be next Friday, but the following Friday. So the first Friday in September, I don't know the date, maybe the third, I don't know why I'm thinking that. Uh, I'm not even going to try to do it, right? Well, anyway, Lily's birthday is on the 30th, which is Monday, right? So 30, 31, 1, 2, 3. Yeah, so it's February 3rd. Okay, no, not February, September 3rd. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, crazy, just call me crazy. So, um, yeah, we are going to give away on our next Facebook Live. These are the Playing With Patterns resin dots, and they're perfect for your summer projects. They come in that Calypso Coral. Um, I think it's Crushed Curry. And then um, these are... Oh, that's interesting because that's actually one of our colors that retired last year. Um, purple Posy, I'm pretty sure, right? One of the real pale purples. But we've got a bunch of other really soft purpley colors. I'm kind of surprised those stuck around now that I'm looking at that. Hmm. Anyway, we must have had a lot of them left or something. I don't know. But I love these little dots. And like I said, they're perfect for our summer projects as well. So you can have some fun with some um, fall winter projects with these also too. So share the Facebook Live video, sign up for my email list, and your name will go in the drawing to win the uh, Playing With Patterns resin dots on our next Facebook Live on September 3rd. Okay. All right. I'm going to scoot this stuff out of the way. Um, so you guys, I think you know this, right? But I want to make sure because we've been talking about it. We just had our team meeting um, on Tuesday this week and um, we've been talking about the starter kit, right? That awesome starter kit deal that we have right now. You guys, so I did the math, all right? <clears throat> we are offering, there are 12 different bundles in the holiday catalog. I went through and I'll show you them in just a sec, but I figured out like, if you got the most expensive bundle, which is $60.25, okay? So if you ordered that bundle, $60.25 value, and you ordered another $125 in product, and you paid the tax and the shipping, you would pay over a hundred and, I'm sorry, 200 and, 
how much was it? 200. Well, what I know is it's like getting $110 free. So if it's 105, it would be like $225, right? 215. I don't know. You guys, I'm like ruining the moment here. But seriously, my point is if you bought a bundle valued at $60.25 and paid um, then bought the $125, another product plus the tax and the shipping, you would save by getting this all through the starter kit over $110. That is like, it's like buy one, get one free only on like all current Stampin' Up! product. So it is such an awesome deal right now. So I can't encourage you enough to think about getting the starter kit if you have not gotten it yet. The best thing about it, other than obviously that fabulous deal, is then you get 20% off of everything that you order after that. If you buy it through me or anyone in my Inkspired Stampers team, you become an Inkspired Stamper team member and you get to get all of the benefits that my team members get. Like they get the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial for free every single month. Month. They also get the um, monthly class to go kit, the PDF tutorial for free. Also, they can get the make and takes for that class to go for just $12. Uh, we also have a separate Facebook group where we do our team meetings on and we do lots of other posting and sharing kind of um, a little bit more business minded, I guess I would say, but not really. I mean, we do creative challenges and business challenges. Um, we do swapping. Um, even if you're long excuse me, even if you're long distance, you can mail your swaps to me. I take them to the meeting, uh, swap around with everybody, and then I mail them back to you. Um, you can get the make and take sent to you from the meetings each month. I'll show you guys. I had so much to show you that I thought, okay, I'm gonna wait until next Facebook Live and I'll show you the make and takes that we made at our meeting um, on Tuesday this week. I'll do that on our next Facebook Live because I just have too much to show you guys today. Um, so what else? Just so many great benefits. If you guys want more info about becoming a an Inkspired Stamper, becoming one of our team members, please let me know. It's an awesome group of ladies. Very um, just kind of welcoming, easy to be a part of, great group of gals, a great community too. So if you're kind of feeling a little lost out there, um, it might be something to think about to um, join our team and kind of become a part of our community and our group. And you really get to know each other, even if you're long distance like I said, through our Facebook groups, we do a lot of um, sharing and, um, you know, it's just a good way to connect even long distance wise. So if you're interested, starter kit, I'm going to try to show you guys because there are 12 different bundles. I'm going to just show you the pages in the back of the catalog because I went through and circled them. So you could get the frosted gingerbread bundle, this one right here, super cute bundle, right? Um, plus, like I said, $125 in product, whatever you want. You can get, there are two of them on here, the Christmas season bundle or the Christmas to remember bundle. So this one, uh, no, actually we're going right here. This one right here circled or this one, why can I not even see my circles? Yeah, that one here and that one there. Okay, so either of those two bundles you can get. Um, we've got two more here and here. I'm going to try to, the whimsy, what is this one called? The um, whimsical trees and then the peaceful deer bundle. So we've got that one right there or this one right here you could pick. So you guys see there's so much great variety too that you can pick from. I think that's only like six or so. So we've got a few more to go. Oh, this one, it's everything except not that knit together one, but you can get, um, so sweet little stockings, penguin place or the peaceful cabin. So any of those bundles you could get in the starter kit too. Then we have uh, Arctic Bears, Bright uh, Arctic Bears and Beauty of Tomorrow. So I'm covering up the two you can't get, but you can get the Arctic Bears or that Beauty of Tomorrow bundle, right? Um, and then I think, are there like one or two more pages? Actually, at least two more pages. So let's see, we'll cover the, it's just this one, the Gorgeous Leaves bundle. This one right here, the beautiful kind of fall leaves. And what else? We've got one more, the Nature's Harvest bundle, which I think the dies are in back order, but you can still order them and then they'll send them to you as soon as they come back in. So you can still order that bundle. Is that it? Yeah, that was all 12 of them. So you guys, like I said, see that's a great variety of different um, stamps and die sets that you can pick from. So you get one of those bundles, any one of those 12, $125 in product, pay only $99 plus tax, and you're gonna save over $110 by getting the starter kit instead of just ordering all that stuff outright. Plus you get your 20% discount, okay? Enough said, right? Oh my goodness, such a great deal. So 
What are you waiting for? You might as well get it right now. I include the link to be able to get the starter kit right in the details above this Facebook Live video after I get it uploaded too. And the link is always on my blog. All the links for everything are always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com also, okay? All right, um, let's see. We're gonna do our next drawing, right? So if you put an online order in of at least $30. Most people bump their orders up to $50 too. Why not, right? Because it's celebration. You get the free celebration freebies, right? But you automatically are going to get both of these projects. Oh, I love. I cannot wait to play some more with that um, whimsical, whimsy and wonder, I think it is, the designer series paper. But you're going to get both of these cards as a thank you from me. Um, your name is going right now into the drawing to win the Be Dazzling, that beautiful sparkly celebration paper, right? If you bumped your order up to $50, you got to pick from either our free embellishment for July, or sorry, this is August already, Amy, the In Color Jewels or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial. And this is my little project. I think I posted this on our Facebook group, um, but it's kind of a little, I don't know what kind of, so it's like a full, it's a tall card. So it opens like that, right? But then it's got that little, <laughs> that kind of fell down. It's kind of just a fun little flap on it. So all the directions on how to make this card are in our August Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial, which you can get for free with your $50 order this month, okay? Or the gems and a celebration choice too. So now, let's see, yep, names are in here. Okay, thank you, Philomena, I appreciate that. That was a fun one. There's that, the penguins are super cute. That's one of, sorry, my hair is really bugging me today. I keep like seeing it and <laughs> I need to just stop playing with it. <laughs> um, yeah, so the penguins, that bundle is one of them that you can get for free um, with your starter kit too. So that's something to think about also. Okay, so now we're gonna draw for our, ooh, that super sparkly paper, okay? So thank you guys for your online orders too. Like I always say, that is truly, it's what keeps me in business. Basically your orders are what keep me, um, I am missing, oh, there it is. Okay, they were just like stuck together. I was like, wait a minute, I know I had more than that in terms of online orders. Okay, so here we go. All right, the lucky winner of the sparkly, sparkly paper is Miss Kathy Hilliard. You are on such a roll, Miss Kathy. She's so generous with her orders through me. And so her name is in here pretty much every single week. And she has just won the Be Dazzling Sparkly Specialty paper as well. So congratulations, Miss Kathy. I will get that paper sent out to you. Okay, um, let's see, I'm trying to like keep myself organized here. So you guys want to know what we're going to give away on our next Facebook Live? I have another fun, super cute, this is that Counting Sheep Celebration stamp set. I have seen so many fun projects made with this stamp set. Of course, there's a set of dies. So this is how you could do this, right? Put your online order in. Use the host code I'll give you in a little bit. That's also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Put your, actually, go ahead and put your $100 order in because then you can get the, the um, sheep dies for free. Your name is going to go in the drawing to then win the counting sheep stamp set. Plus, you get the projects I'm going to demonstrate in just a little bit, and you get to pick from either the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial or the free embellishment, those in color jewels. So fun little, a couple of little sentiments, right? We've got you're amazing and so glad it's your birthday. And then those funny little sheep. They're just so cute, right? So happy and just happy to be here, right? So that's what we'll give away on our next Facebook Live um, with your online order of just at least $30. But like I said, you might as well order at least $50 to get your free celebration choice, right? Okay, I like moved my notes way away and I can't even like see. <laughs> Hi, Mike, how are you? Um, okay, I think we are ready. I have, like I said, I have so many things I wanna show you guys, so I'm gonna flip the camera down now. Um, swaps, I got a bunch of swaps. I'm gonna spread it out too. So I have swaps from the Celebration brochure, so I'm gonna show you those on Facebook Live right now. And then on our next Facebook Live, two weeks from now, I'm gonna show you all my swaps that I got from our new holiday catalog, okay? So turn your heads away for a quick sec. I'm gonna flip the camera down and we will have some more fun, okay? Let's see, here we go. All right. Okay, we're good. 
You guys back, right? Okay. Um, you know what I'm gonna do too? This is our host code. I always like to kind of get that out here. Kind of helps me make sure that um, my pictures are, or my cards are in view too. Okay, quick sip of water here too. <laughs> okay, so swaps. And I have to show you, so first of all, this is that stamp set that we're gonna give away on our next Facebook Live. So here is, and I only actually got one swap with this cute little counting sheep, counting sweep. <laughs> Counting sheep stamp set. So the little, so glad it's your birthday. So you can see that sentiment right there. And then she did some awesome coloring too, which really simple though, when you kind of look at the detail here. And then there's the little grass image too. So that's kind of fun how she stamped that there, right? And then we've got the little sheep flying through the air and the other one with the little birthday banner, right? But so she just did probably a little bit of coloring with the blends there. And then that cute little birthday hat, which is also right there too. And so then the dies are gonna cut these things out also. So really not, sorry, I'm like so busy. I, this happens to me all the time, right? I get so busy like looking at it myself that it's like way over here and I don't even realize it. So let me make sure it's in view. But yeah, super duper cute little card, right? And this one was made by Laura Borsch, Borschert, Borschert. I'm not sure how you say her name, but Laura. Awesome, so cute, right? Okay, so that was one of my swaps. I have a bunch more to show you. And actually a couple of them are cards that we made in class recently too. Okay, so we've got, ooh, ow, I should pull out all the Dahlia cards too, shouldn't I? Because that's what we are going to um, work with today. I think, is that all of them? Yeah, I didn't, I didn't, I kind of just had them all in my little um, bag. But this one actually, this one I loved so much, we made this at our card class recently. And I didn't even realize, so she used these little, um, uh, sequins and I didn't think I had them and then I looked again in my craft room I'm like oh there's that cute little tin of sequins so I used something I can't remember what we used something different on mine but now I'm like oh I, I could have used those little sequins too and then that's some of the celebration the um is it perfectly penned designer series paper another pack of paper you can get for free so Dahlia stamp set free with a hundred dollar order and then this designer series paper the black and white kind of washed print is free with a $50 order. And this one was Kelly Atchison. She's one of our million dollar sales achievers too. So obviously she knows what she's doing with her stamping, right? Okay, then I loved this one too. And I wanna point out too, cause this is kind of cool. You can see how you can, where did my stamp set go? Oh, that's the one that fell on the floor that made me like jump out of my skin. Okay, so here's um, a great thing to kind of take a peek at here too. We have this, the detail right here that we stamped, and then actually all three of these detail are on this card, right? And then we filled it in with the other stamp, right, on this one. Over on this one though, she just used this image right here on her card too. So you guys can kind of see how you can have the outline or just kind of that washed look and they're both beautiful, I think. So love that, right? And then I'll show you, here's another one. So this one she stamped maybe with a brown. I'm kind of trying to figure out what, which brown did she use? I don't even know. Um, yeah, I don't think the list of, um, it's not on the back. Angie Leach made that card though too. You should know that. She does a great stamper also. Um, Anyway, a light brown, but then this one you can see they use probably Calypso Coral, and this is cute. I haven't used the thank you um, embossing folder yet either, so that's really kind of fun there too, to see the thanks and then thank you in many other languages embossed there as well. But yeah, isn't that pretty how she kind of, the detail and then the um, kind of uh, uh, the watercolor wash inside of it are all the same Calypso Coral color. So you get a great, um, sample of ways that you can use that stamp set and then the colors that you use with it also. And then here's one more. I always love this look. I can't remember what it's called, but it's such a cool look um, with this stamping technique, right? So this one, again, she just used the wash images, not any of the outline images. So very cool, huh? And then this one is made by Ruth Bingle. And who did this one? I don't think I should do. Laura Barto made that one. So, so many pretty ones, right? With that delicate Dahlia stamp set. Okay, we'll scoot those out of the way. Um, what else? Oh, well, I'll show you. This was my swap um, for celebration. I used some of that penguin. And I kind of was like, I, when I made this swap, I was like, I am not ready for like, um, 
Christmas, holiday, penguins, winter, like, oh my gosh, go away, right? <laughs> was kind of how, how I was feeling. So I, I was happy to use the stripes and the polka dots basically to kind of make like a springy summery card. And then I loved that some friendships are just meant to be, right? What a great sentiment, huh? And then that one just op opens up there and it just says, love you friend on the inside. So you can use, this paper becomes very versatile, I think, right? Where you can use it for these kind of summery cards or the like wintry penguin cards also. So let me show you, cause this was actually another cute one. I cased this from, Erica Sirwin. So this was a card that we actually made at um, card class recently. Um, so I love, again, this one uses the penguin stamp set and punch, and then we've got a little bit of the designer series paper. But you can see kind of summer and then kind of winter, how that paper works there also. Here's another one. This one again uses that same penguin designer series paper with that fun little polar bear guy, right? With the Mary and I love, this ribbon is so fun. That black and white gingham ribbon. And this one is Laura Milligan. She's awesome, I love Laura. Uh, yeah, and Philomena, you love the penguins too? So let me just kind of sift through here. I'm trying to see, oh yeah, we've got a couple more penguin cards. I'll just show you guys all the penguin cards. So here's another one. Um, very different look, right? These are kind of the purples, the lighter colors, and then these are like um, just more like deeper, bolder colors, right? We've got Calypso Coral, Just Jade, and Misty Moonlight with that cute little snowman. And I love that sentiment too. The be cool, be chill, be merry. <laughs> love that. And that is Kim Vogel designed that card. And then we have one more. And then isn't this pretty too? So she um, cut out the little snowman. I do not think there is not a die to cut that little guy out. So she had to have hand cut. They both hand cut all of those. Oh my goodness. They probably, I would have maybe paid Lily. I don't know. I'm not sure if she could have done it or not. <laughs> anyway, I'm like, okay, either that or they sat and watched TV for a really long time and cut all those little snowmen out. But this is some of the paper from the holiday catalog. And I'm trying to see if I could guess. I feel like um, it might be the Peaceful Place designer series paper, I am thinking, but love those kind of sparkly trees and the snowflakes there also, right? Okay, so I think that's it with kind of the penguin designer series paper. Um, so here, let me like scoop these, make sure. Okay, what else do we have? Oh, this is one, actually we've got a couple here. These are, where is my brochure? I'm gonna see. Um, because I want to show you guys, because I can't remember the name of the paper. Which way is it? Well, do you guys, you guys have seen this, right, too? So all the free celebration, I forget, like for a long time, I couldn't show you guys, but there's the paper that we just gave away, the Be Sparkling paper. Here's the Penguin, um, the designer series paper. It just shows you some projects there. Again, this is free with a $50 order. So you can get the little Penguin Place bundle, right? Super cute little bundle there. Um, this is what I was trying to show you guys. So this stamp set use, this is the Feels Like Home stamp set. Isn't that beautiful, right? So we've got the Feels Like Home stamp set right here. So I'll kind of zoom in a little bit because I didn't bring these over with me. So I can't even read those sentiments. But actually I can tell you one of them says, I'm always and forever here for you. That's so sweet, right? And I love, she just did a little bit of coloring. This, These stamp sets, I'm gonna be honest, like super, they're really intimidating for me because I don't feel like I'm a very good colorer, but can you see, you really don't even have to color very much. All she did was just use probably her, this is soft sea foam, she just used maybe her soft sea foam blend and just kind of colored that in. That's it, everything else is stamped on there. So keeps it really, simple, right? But then she also used, this is some of the beautifully penned designer series paper. So that kind of black and white washed paper is what they used right there. And I feel like there was one more that I show you guys too. Where did it go? I don't know. I moved it. Oh, actually I think it was, well, both of these use it. So this stripey, this stripey paper right there and right there is also part of 
that beautifully penned designer series paper. So this one, let's see, is Mary Ellen Stites designed this card. And then this one, and I'm trying to think, that is from our annual catalog, and I'm drawing a blank on the name of that stamp set. But this one is from Karen Braxton. So <laughs> they do get better and better, don't they, Philomena? I love, this is a great group. So these are um, Stampin' Up! Trip Achiever swaps. That's a, so a Facebook group that I'm a part of is anyone that's basically earned the incentive trip. Um, and so once you do that, then you can become a part of this group and then you can swap with all these amazing stampers. So I get beautiful swaps every single month and completely appreciate, not every single month, but um, every single catalog we do them. Um, so I love being a part of that group and swapping with these fabulous ladies. So let's see, we're going to jump around a little bit. So we already showed the, here are the dies though, right? So the counting sheep stamp set. And then look at all those fun, like the little farm, like, oh, the little fence. So cute, huh? Ah, uh, so many, look at, look at those happy sheep there too. They're just, they're just so happy to be on the farm, right? Um, this is what I'm looking for though, is the summer shadows dies, Right here, that's what was used on this card. Isn't that beautiful too? I love the soft kind of pale tones that she used on that card. So this is the um, Shaded Summer Stamp Set. We showed that on Facebook Live a few weeks ago and then coordinates with the Summer Shadow Dies that you can get for free with your $100 order during celebration. So isn't that so pretty? And she actually embossed too. Isn't that gorgeous? Love, that's such a pretty, so this is one where I love, like I, I not use those colors together, but I think they are beautiful together. So I'm like, okay, that's a good one to remember, right? And this is Rhonda Bassler designed this card too. So isn't that awesome? All right, and then I think I saved, these are all, yes. So back to the, did I get? Yeah, here we go. So the Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. Love this paper. This, it kind of actually, once I played with this, it was, um, we used these on our swap cards last month in July. Or not our swap, but our meeting make and takes for our Inspired Stampers group. We used this paper. So it finally kind of got me in the mood for Christmas because I was not like ready to play with holiday catalog stuff yet. But check out all of these cute cards that are made with that designer series paper. So love the deer. So you don't even really actually need, I mean, if you want, obviously awesome, get the punch and the stamp set, but there are so many um, fun images in this designer series paper that include the deer there. And then all those fun snowflakes too, right? And then my black and white gingham ribbon that I cannot get enough of. Hey, Susan, welcome. So this one is Lynn Feldkamp. Um, she designed this card. Thank you for sharing, Miss Susan. And then here's another one, right? And I have to get these, I don't even know where these dies are from, but I've seen this a number of times. I'm like, I have to do some research um, and figure out where that die comes from because I gotta get that die set. Um, but then she did some embossing. This is more of that Peaceful Prince Designer Series paper. And then I love, and there's actually another piece, a couple more pieces too. And then these little pretty poinsettias too with that gold trim. So isn't that beautiful? And this one is from Cara Paisant, I think is how you say her name. And then here with the green and black and white, again with our gingham ribbon, it's the best time of year. So this is one, this is the stamp and the punch right there. And then more of that designer series paper. And this one is Janice Waitman. And she actually gives all of the details. That's awesome. So she tells me exactly what I need to make that card. And then one more. We've got Christmas greetings with, ooh, I'm going to have to check out that. That's so pretty. Look at, can you guys see the embossing on that? I love all the swirly detail. Mm, that is so pretty. I'm going to have to check that out too. I think I have that embossing folder. I just haven't used it yet. And then she just punched. That's probably straight from some of the designer series paper looks like maybe just punched a circle or die cut the circle right there. And this one is from Judy Garza. So awesome set of swaps, lots and lots of beautiful projects that you can make with all of these items that you can get for free during celebration with either a 50 or a $100 order. Okay. Let's see. Okay, I have to show you guys one more thing and then we're going to do our stamping. But I, um, I'm talking a lot and <laughs> I need another sip of water. Mm. Okay, so now I think, hopefully you guys saw, I um, put my next class to go together and I'm so excited about it. So I even mentioned in my video, yes, Philomena, you're right. Great job by everyone. 
So, okay, this um, is a set, like a die, well, stamp and die set, right? That we could order like way back in, oh, was it April? Yeah, probably April, right? And I looked at this and I was like, it's so pretty, but all I could think was like fall and winter time. And so I got the stamp set and the die set and then I didn't do anything with it for forever. And finally I was like, okay, now I can finally, like I'm ready for fall. I wanna play with the fall and winter stuff, right? So I decided this is gonna be the perfect stamp set and die set to work with for our class to go this month. So featuring, so the Beauty of Friendship stamp set, Right, and this is another one where you can you can just stamp this tree, you can just stamp this tree, or you can stamp this one over top. Same thing with these, and then we've got this tree here too. And you can layer these pieces on top of this tree or just have them kind of touching the ground, right? And there's even like a little ground stamp there too. Great sentiments too. We've got thinking of you, I believe in you, hello, thank you. Friendships refresh the soul, love that sentiment. And then you truly inspire me. And then the set of dies. So if you can see like this one and this one and this one will all cut these images out, but then they've got other ones that give you a whole bunch of detail. And then it gets even better, a couple of label dies that will go around like the thinking of you and I believe in you, the thank you. So aren't those cool just like little labels, like little square or rectangular labels, I guess I'd say. So, okay, let me show you the cards and then I'll tell you the different options that are available. So you get to make four different cards, two of each of them in my class to go. So we've got this thinking of you featuring this awesome, this cherry cobbler and gold metallic ribbon. It is, oh, my favorite. And then check out that sparkly goodness on that one. Friendships refresh the soul. We've got a you truly inspire me so you can see all the detail from the die on that one. And then a thank you as well with more of that beautiful ribbon. Okay. So awesome set of beautiful fall colors on the cards, right? Okay, so option number one always includes the stamp set and the dies. You also get a full bolt of the cherry cobbler and gold metallic ribbon. This is beautiful. I kind of didn't know how beautiful it was. And it's actually, at first I thought it was going to be hard to tie a bow, but then once you work with it a little bit, it kind of breaks down a little bit. So it's actually really easy to make your bows. You get a full package of the brushed metallic dots. Of course, I don't have a full package because I use some on my project here, but you'll get a full package, I promise. And then you also, in option number one, for free, you get a quarter of a pack of the Beauty of the Earth Designer Series paper that you can see we used on each of our four cards, okay? So option, oh, plus, 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 you get a free celebration choice with option number one, okay? So you get the bundle, you get the ribbon, you get the dots, you get the DSP for free, you get a free celebration choice also, and it is $91 for option number one. So great deal because you get so much stuff. Oh, plus the PDF tutorial that tells you how to put your projects together, right? Option number two is if you already have the stamp set and dies, which I know this was kind of risky for me because I know a lot of people probably already ordered these, which is totally fine. You're still going to get some new holiday catalog product, right? These things so you can get the... the um, the backed, the adhesive backed dots, you get the ribbon, you get the quarter pack of designer series paper that you're gonna use on your cards, plus all the parts and pieces to make two of each of these cards, right? And the PDF tutorial. So option number two is $34. And then you guys know, right, if you need it shipped to you, option number one and option number two, shipping is an additional $9. Option number three is the PDF tutorial. Basically, you want to do it all on your own. You have everything you need. You just want to know, how did I design these cards? Um, that PDF tutorial is $15. It's always available even after that RSVP deadline passes, right? And my team, my Inkspired Stampers, that's one of those things they can get for free every single month is the tutorial that tells them how to put these projects together. Or option number four is also for my teammates, my Inkspired Stampers. They can get the make and takes, all the parts and pieces for just $12 to put these projects together. I give them the dots, the ribbon, the DSP, all the cardstock. They basically get their own stamp set and dies and use their demo ID to get their discount, right? So they can do their stamping and die cutting. Okay, so that option number four is $12 for my downline. Um, let's see. Oh, RSVPs are due by Friday, September 3rd, and the kits will ship out no later than September 15th. So let me know if you have any questions. I will include the link to sign up for this class to go in the details above this Facebook Live video after we get it uploaded this afternoon. So, okay. I think, are you guys ready to do some 
stamping. <laughs> I am ready myself. Okay, so yes, Susan, you love the bundle too. I know, so good. Okay, I have to make sure, get my paper. I think we're pretty well centered there, right? Okay. Oh, I might, I'm trying to decide. I've got my glasses here. Do I need my glasses or not? I think I'll be okay. Okay, so again, we are gonna play with this beautiful Delicate Dahlia stamp set. So let me show you this first card. And I love, so kind of a, I'm calling it a, like a fun fold because it, do you guys see how it opens up? So you actually just, oops, I got some ink or adhesive, sorry, something. I'll just put my finger right there. So we just use a, this is four and a quarter by five and a half piece of thick white cardstock. And then the actual card itself is layered inside there a little bit. And I have to show you guys, this was not my idea, but um, Sharon Greening, who is one of my Inkspired Stampers, had sent this card to Lily back when she um, had her accident. And I loved how she did the inside of her card, kind of added those layers. So I decided, and I've had this card for a really long time, obviously since like February when she sent it to Lily, but it's been sitting on my craft room table to remind me like, oh, I wanna decorate the inside of my card like Sharon did on hers. So finally, <laughs> how many months later, I got to do it. So I love doing the stamping and then putting the little matte black dots on the inside there too. So you've got the oh so happy for you right there, okay? So, and again, and so this is what was kind of fun too, because when I um, was looking at the stamps, I'm like, I love the Dahlia, but then isn't this the sweet little stamp there too? Kind of fun. And then I actually kind of cheated because I wanted to do the inside. So I found that little baby right there on the Sweet as a Peach stamp set to go on the inside of there also. Okay, so let me show you. Let's get these things out here. Let me get some ink going. There is one die cut. I was trying to remember, did I? So I don't think I did too much die cutting on these cards today, which is unusual for me. Okay, so here we go. I'll give you measurements and then we will put everything together. Okay, so like I had mentioned, we have, this is a thick basic white card stock that measures four and a quarter by five and a half, okay? Then we have, this is soft succulent card stock that measures four inches by, oops, do we do need to, do we need to move that up? I guess we're okay, by 10 and a half inches. So this one, half of 10 and a half is five and a quarter. So I scored it at five and a quarter inches. So you guys kind of get the idea. There's your card base, kind of, and then that layers right on there. Isn't that fun? Just something a little bit different, right? And then on the inside, I put, this is my um, pale papaya, and I put that on the inside right there. So this one measures three and three quarter by five inches, okay? So that one goes right there. Then we have our little piece of designer series paper, also pale papaya. This one measures two inches by four inches. And I think that's it because then we've got basic black and some basic white for our die cutting and our stamping and so on, okay? So I am going to, let me think of the best way. Here, actually I need my black one too. So we're gonna do our stamping of our oh so happy for you. We're gonna do that so that then we can do our die cutting and then we're gonna come back and do this stamping on here because it was easier for me to stamp once I had it cut out than um, before. That'd be crazy for me. Okay, so here we go. We've got the oh so happy for you stamp. That one I'm pounding a little bit more. Normally I don't push that hard, but that's more of a linen ink pad so you can press a little bit harder. But you see I just press straight down and lift straight up. Okay, all right, so we got that one, that out of the way. Okay, so now let's do our die cutting. I think I've got room here for my cut and emboss machine. You guys all have one of these, right? This would be something, if you don't have this yet, you could get this in your starter kit along with your holiday catalog bundle and a little bit more too, okay. So we have, <laughs> I feel like I use these all the time, but I love them. I just love them so much. These are the scalloped contours dies. We're gonna use this one on the other project. That's why I have to have it over here so I can find it quickly and easily. But yeah, the scalloped contour dies, beautiful set of dies. Just, you guys, seriously, if you don't have these yet, I do not know what you are waiting for. All right, so we're gonna put this one. I'm gonna see if I can get them all on here and do one crank, right? 
Ooh, and I did not give myself very much wiggle room on that, but I think we're gonna be okay. And then we're gonna do our circles over here. Okay, so with our layering circles dies, we have these circles right here. Okay, so one, mm, nope, that's the small. So the second smallest straight edge and the one, two, three, third smallest scallop, smallest scallop edge circle die are what we're using, okay? So the straight edge goes on my sentiment and then the scallop edge goes on my black. All right, I think I'm good. Get these babies cut and we will do our stamping. And I, as I'm looking, I'm like, oh yeah, I used that same stamp in three different colors. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I have my little scrubby pad, which I know I do, my stamp and scrub. See, did I get this one? I did. Shoo! Look at that. <laughs> so cut your paper a little bit wider when you do yours, ladies. <laughs> I didn't give myself much room for error. Thank goodness that worked out all right. Okay, let's see. What else did I want? I need, you know, I try to keep this grid paper pretty. So I've got my little scrap of grid paper here so we can do our stamping because I definitely kind of go off the edge of my card there. Okay, so what color did I use first? I can't even remember, but we're gonna start with pale papaya, I think. Okay, so nice, easy, we're gonna do like tap, tap, tap. So I'm kind of trying to recreate what I did on the last one, which is nearly impossible for me. Um, it seems like I never can do it exactly, but we will try. And I'm gonna grab my little scrub. My, yeah, my stamp and scrub, because I'm sure I'm gonna have to, I'm even gonna leave my ink pad colors open because I have a feeling, you know, I might have to come back and add a little something along the way. Oh, I'm like, where'd my stamp go? Okay, so now we're gonna do our fresh freesia. And I'm kind of turning so that they're not all facing the same direction to and maybe, yeah, because you don't want them all to look exactly the same, right? And we'll do maybe one more right there. Probably have to come back, but I'm going to do that for now, okay? You guys can see, right? I'm so, I get so intent on what I'm doing. Okay, so now we're going to use our soft succulent. So you guys can see these are a bunch of our current in colors, right? So I'm just kind of adding in, okay? I think we're good. So what I wanna do, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna add a little, one more fresh freesia right there. Uh, actually, I think that looks pretty good. Yeah, I think, I think we've covered enough ground. Okay, yeah, so if you don't get enough around the edges, maybe just kinda do a little bit around an edge there, but I think we are good. Did I stamp? Oh yeah, okay, good thing I saw that. This is perfect timing. I'm gonna clean that off. I'm gonna grab this little piece Okay, and I'm gonna use my pale papaya, and I'm just gonna stamp a couple of these little babies on the inside there, okay? All right, we'll clean that one off. Now I'm gonna come back and add the little black centers. Um, again, from my Sweet as a Peach stamp set, right? We're gonna use that little baby right there on the inside of our card. I just dunked my finger in my ink pad, so I'm gonna before I get it all over everything, right? Okay, so we're gonna use our black memento ink. Okay, I think we don't need that anymore. We'll scoot that out of the way. Okay, open that baby back up. So here we go, we're just gonna add our little centers to our flowers. Ah, we're stamping, ladies. Don't you just feel the calm and relaxation just washing over you as you play with these pretty, pretty things. So again, this stamp set, the Delicate Dahlia stamp set is free with a $100 order during celebration. Okay, I think, are we good? I think we might be good, let's, let's see. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna say we're good. I think we're ready to put our card together. Okay, so we are going to, Oh, the other thing, you guys. Oh, hey, Deb, how are you? I finally learned how to use my stamp and seal. I have 
Um, I have had an issue, obviously you can see it when I do um, these Facebook Live videos, and then um, at class we had an issue the other day. So finally I was like, okay, I gotta call Stampin' Up. So I called them, and then actually my downline, Sharon Greening, who was my inspiration for the inside of this card, right? She finally taught me how to use my Stampin' Seal. So I think I get it. I'm gonna try to show you guys now too, okay? Because the thing is, it's just so sticky, right? It's such good adhesive that it, it like gets wound up on itself and then you have to keep advancing it forward. And I think I finally understand how to use this so you don't have to do it anymore. Because at first I was like, I want to go back to the snail adhesive. But when I talked to Stampin' Up, they said actually in the more humid climates, which even in Michigan, we have a lot of humidity in the summer, right? Um, but in, you know, probably like in Florida and the Carolinas and, you know, more humid climates, the snail was not holding the projects together very well. So that's why they switched over. Cause I, like I said, I was like, I wanna go back to that one cause it was easier to use, but it just wasn't as strong as it needed to be for those humid climates. So here we go. This is how you use your stamp and seal. And I am here to tell you that it works. Okay, so we are going to run it and then you have to like tip it back, which kind of breaks the adhesive and then I pull away. Okay, so I tip it and then pull back away. So I run it, I tip it and I pull back away. Run it, tip it and pull back away. And I, can you see, I haven't had to advance it. This is the first time on Facebook Live I have not had to advance my adhesive like I normally do. So run it, tip it, pull it back. Run it, tip it, pull it back. Woohoo! Isn't that so cool, you guys? Okay, so I'm very, very happy because I was getting frustrated. I'm like, how am I going to, you know, promote and say, oh yeah, you have to have this adhesive, right? I love this adhesive when it was like driving me crazy, but I've got it now. And it's, it is, it's such good adhesive. Um, you don't have the wiggle room like you did almost with snail. So just don't press too hard. If you want to move it, you've got to really like, um, you know, pick it up and move it before um, you get it too well placed on there, right? Got a little bit on my grid paper there. <laughs> it is a big difference, isn't it, Deb? Like, finally, we know how to use this stuff. Okay. Yeah, see, here's an example. But I can reposition. I thought, oh, maybe it's a little bit too low. So I tried to move it, pick it back up. Okay, so there we go. Now we're going to put some dimensionals behind this baby here. Okay. So add a few. Oops. Got an extra one. We'll save that for next time. Okay. So we're going to pop these right over here. So I'll keep um, kind of instructing you guys to on how, I think I like that on the top better, on how to use that stamp and seal each time I do it too. Okay, so again, you run it, you tip it back, and then it's, so it's like run, tip, and then pull the way you were running it. Because I was kind of doing that check mark and that wasn't working either for me the way I wanted it to. Okay, so we're gonna put a couple of dimensionals on the back of our oh so happy for you. And then we are going to add that black and white gingham ribbon, which like I said is my, oh, so it's part of the Halloween suite in our holiday catalog, um, but I have been using it for everything, right? We've got these cute summer cards right here. I've definitely used it on my Halloween projects and I've used it on my holiday projects. So get this ribbon while you can, because I think everyone's really loving it. And if you want to get it before it, goes on back order, I would say. So we're gonna just trim that down a little bit. So all we did was make our cute little bow there. And let me grab a glue dot. And we will have card number one. Yeah, Philomena, I don't know if you've had trouble with your stamp and seal too. But finally, I'm just so happy because I feel like I know how to use it. It's not driving me crazy anymore because I was getting frustrated with it, which I know a lot of people were too. So there we go. Oh, so, oops, there we go. Now, can you see that, guys? <laughs> there we go. Oh, so happy for you. Super cute, huh? And then, oh, ooh, 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 I forgot. I forgot. I want to add my um, little matte black dots. And can you guys see I'm like running low on these things? I need to, I think I ordered some more. When I saw, I was like, oh, I only have this little bit left on my sheet here. I need to order some more of these. So yeah, 
Haha, <laughs> decorated the inside of my card too. How fun is that, right? Okay, so there's card number one. Now, okay, let's see, we'll get this one out of the way, right? Okay, so here we go. Card number two, ladies. Oops, we don't need a whole tub. Okay, so another one with fun, bright pops of color this time, and then with those just a couple little hints of black and white, right? And then we did the inside of this one also. Love Sharon's inspiration. <laughs> you would like that ribbon. It's good ribbon, isn't it, Miss Dab? Yes. Beautiful, huh? Right, okay. So let me show you guys how we did this card. We are going to need those dots again. So let's keep those right there. A little die. Oh, yeah, I do have one, one thing to die cut on there, too. Okay. Um, so we got our ribbon we need. All right. I think I have everything. So actually, let's do that die cutting of that piece. We'll do that and get that out of the way right now because there isn't anything else that's die cut. It's all stamped. Okay, so yeah, let's... Well, actually, let me tell you guys about um, card stock measurements because these are important to know. So love this like color combo too, right? So we have Coastal Cabana, Daffodil Delight, and then with little pops of Granny Apple Green there too, okay? So Daffodil Delight card base, five and a half by eight and a half. Well, actually, you guys know I usually do this, right? So here's my full sheet of cardstock. I cut it in half at 11 inches, so five and a half, and I cut it or scored it in half along the eight and a half at four and a quarter, okay? So there's our folded card, right? Then we have, this is our piece right here. Actually, I think they're the same size of Coastal Cabana cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. And I think this one is the same on the inside too. Yeah, so you need two pieces of Coastal Cabana. Sorry, that's not, yeah, it is four. I'm like trying to put them on top of each other. Yeah, four inches by five and a quarter inches for both the outside of the card and the inside of the card. Now, this piece of basic white cardstock is a little bit smaller, okay? So this one measures three and a half by five and one eighth, okay? And then on the inside, a little bit bigger, this one measures three and seven eighths by five and one eighth, okay? Because we want just that little bit of edge of our Coastal Cabana cardstock to show, okay? All right, so we are gonna grab one of these and I'm gonna put that up there to remind me to do um, my stamping on that one. Okay, so we're gonna just die cut along the very bottom with that super cute little scalp. It's almost like waves too, right? From, again, my most favorite, Scalloped Contours dies is where you get that little bit here. Okay. Here we go. All right, so I'm just gonna, I wanted this way down at the bottom and I've used it so many times, it's almost like I've warped it a little bit, I think. I've had lots of fun with this die, but we're gonna just go down toward the bottom of the edge as far as we can. Okay, lay that on there and hopefully it stayed. I don't know, I feel like it moved a little bit. Okay, we'll see. Woohoo, hopefully it, it stayed where I wanted it. Yes, they are pretty, the colors together, aren't they, Deb? Yeah, just fun, bright summer colors. Okay, so yeah, there we go. Love that little scallop edge, isn't it so sweet? Okay, we're gonna scoot our stamp and cut in a box machine out of the way. And, okay, I'm gonna bring back in this little guy because we are definitely going off the edge. <laughs> I almost grabbed the wrong piece of paper again. Okay, you know what though, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna stamp, I am actually gonna do that. So on this bigger piece that goes on the inside of our card, I'm gonna grab my Coastal Cabana ink and I'm gonna ink up my big dahlia this time. So you can see I only used the kind of watercolor wash. I didn't do the, I didn't use the outline. Where is my stamp set? Yeah, so I only used this stamp and then this one also and then this one on the card. I didn't use any of these outline images. So you've got lots of different options with that though. But so that's gonna go on the inside. All right, so we're just scooting that all out of the way, right? Now, well here, I gotta see my card. You guys need to see it too, probably, right? Okay, 
So again, we've got our Coastal Cabana. I'm gonna stamp one fully right about there. And I'm gonna do one more right about there. Isn't that, look at all of the detail too. And if you have an ink pad, it's not super juicy. It gives you a little bit more detail on there also. Um, the, the super inky ones kind of tend to like blur some of that detail more than maybe you want it to be blurred. I need that little stamp and where's my, here, I'm gonna have to make sure <laughs> that this little baby guy is cleaned off because we're gonna use it again in our Daffodil Delight ink. Okay, so we're gonna stamp one there. I just kind of did a few. I didn't fill this in quite as much as I did on the other card. I think that'll be good. We'll keep that open just in case we want to stamp anything more. And then we have our leaves. And again, I just kind of added, just to add a little bit of color. Um, I didn't leave as much room on the top, so maybe I'll just do one kind of down on the bottom there. Maybe we'll do one more. Oh, you know what I didn't leave room for is my sentiment, but I think we're gonna be able to fit it in there. That's why I, <laughs> well, let's try it and see. If not, ladies, you guys know, right, that you can always flip your basic white cardstock over, I think it'll be okay, and stamp on the backside. I think that works just fine, right? Hello, Diana, good morning to you too. Hope you're having a great day. It is. I don't know if I'm just getting like super excited about this stamp set, but I'm getting kind of hot. <laughs> so either that, or I think it's supposed to get pretty warm here today too. So that's what I'm gonna say it is. It's not, well, actually I am getting really excited about the stamp set too. So, okay, all right, <laughs> blah, 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 Amy. So I think we are ready to put things together. So if you didn't see before, you run it, tip it back and pull away. Run it, tip it back, pull away. You guys see? Run it, tip it back, pull away. Run it, tip it back, pull away. I never had to re-advance it. I love my stamp and seal now. So if you were hesitant before, get it back out, try it. If it doesn't work at first, advance it forward and keep working with it. You guys are going to love your seal now, finally. <laughs> or maybe you never had a problem with it. I don't know. I was just having some trouble for a little while there. So, okay, now we're gonna use our black and white gingham ribbon, tie our sweet little bow around. Isn't this fun though? The bright colors, bright pops of color, and then with the black and white, such a cute, so I'm kind of trying to move it a little bit. Here we go. I think, are we, are we good? I don't know if I futzed with it too much. Nope, we're good. Sometimes it gets too loose, so then you just have to tie it again. But I think we're good there, All right? We'll move that around a little bit, okay? Actually, it's kind of cute like that. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna scoot that baby over there a little bit, right? Make our little bow. Okay, now we're gonna add some more adhesive again, right? Run it, tip it back, pull back away. Run it, tip it, pull away. Oh, so good. I'm gonna get all cocky about this and then it's not gonna work one of these times. But for now, feeling good, ladies. Feeling very, very good about it. Okay, so we are going to layer this one right there and then we're gonna do the inside of our card again. Run it, tip it back, pull away. Run it, tip it back, pull away. I'm having so much fun. I'm not even paying any attention to the comments because I'm <laughs> so happy that this is working. Okay, there we go. Put this on the inside. Run it, tip it back, pull away. Run it, tip it back, pull away. It's the tipping back. That's what breaks the adhesive but still keeps it in the exact same spot so it's sticky and ready to go for the next time. That tipping back is what I keep telling myself. Tip it back. Tip it up, tip it back just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so we just have to do one more little thing here. Find my little snail or my snips, I guess these are. And I don't know, now I'm trying to decide. I think I'm just gonna add, cause I didn't really leave room there. So I'm gonna just add a few of these around a little bit. I'm gonna do one there, one there. I feel like you always have to do thing in, things in threes. So we'll do one 
right there. Yeah, okay, so fun, huh, ladies? What do you guys think? Are you excited about this delicate Dahlia stamp set now, right? Aren't these beautiful, right? So we've got these two little babies and those little babies, right? Okay, so ladies, put your online order in just of at least $30, minimum $30 order online. We'll get you both of these cards as a thank you from me, right? You also get your name into the drawing to win the Counting Sheep stamp set. If you bump your order up to $50, you get to pick from the In Color Embellishments, the Jewels, or the Demo Design Dream Team PDF tutorial with the fun little tutorial on my penguin card included in there. And then you also get a free celebration choice, which to be very honest, right now, you probably ought to just order $100 so you can get your Delicate Dahlia stamp set too and you can make these cards also. So speaking of that, I will include all of the details, uh, measurements, colors, item codes, product names, everything that you need to order what you would like to be able to make these projects as well. They'll be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com this afternoon. All right, thank you guys so much. I hope you have a great, gosh, it's gonna be the rest of August. I hope you have a great end of August and I will see you right here, back here two weeks from now on Friday, September 3rd for our next Facebook Live. So we're moving Kate in next Friday. He's super excited. Well, kind of, I keep telling myself, right? Super excited for him to head off to college. Gonna be so sad, it's gonna be so weird. Um, but hopefully he keeps in touch with me. You know, they say boys aren't quite as good at that, but so far he's been pretty good. Um, so keep your fingers crossed that that continues. So, all right, thanks guys. Have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Bye everybody.